feel too comfortable, you may go. So notice when Willie gets to the bottom. Hey, how's it going, guys? So today we are going to talk about the goblet squat, but a pause at the bottom. Okay, so why would we pause at the bottom? It's a great question. It's not everyone's favorite spot. It's kind of uncomfortable for some of you. And it's a whole lot harder to hold this position than it is here. Okay, but the reality is a lot of us don't like it and don't even go to that position. And if we do, we kind of rush out of it as fast as possible. What the pause at the bottom is really good for is one, forcing someone to spend time where they don't want to spend time. Two, you're going to get a nice loaded stretch there. So it's going to be like you're working your mobility into your exercise. Three, the more time under tension you have in a spot that you're weak in, the greater your ability to increase that strength and decrease any discrepancies throughout a range of motion in strength that you have. And it's also going to be a great self-limiting exercise that you can program potentially on like an off day or recovery or rest day to address positional tolerance. So what I mean by that is because you're going to be stopping and having way more time under tension than normal, you're going to be forced to use a lighter weight. And because you're pausing and having all that time under tension in that really weak position where you're going to be most folded over, it's going to be an incredibly demanding exercise for your core. So while this can be a standalone exercise to help improve your weakness or your strength or positioning at the bottom range, this exercise can also be used as an accessory exercise to practice the squat pattern, but really as a core positional tolerance exercise. Lily, do you have anything to add before we do some demos? No, let's do it. Okay, so Lily's going to show you here. So everything's gonna stay the same with our other goblet squats, okay? So if you need a little refresher, please go watch the goblet squat video. But the basics are gonna stay the same, the basic principles. Lily's gonna get a big breath, 360 degrees. She's gonna find the center of her foot, which is gonna be about one inch in front of the ankle, right over the navicular bone, okay? Her feet are gonna have three main points of contact though still, the big toe, pinky toe, and heel. But she's just thinking about centering her weight between those points right here. And your feet don't lie, right? So take a video of yourself and watch what your feet are doing. If your toes are coming off the ground, there's no possible way your weight is centered on your feet. Yeah. So as Lily goes down, she's not going to drop, but it's not tempo. So she's not going to take a long time doing it. We want you to go at the speed that you feel like you can stay under control and not just completely create poor positioning. Okay. Little wobbling, a little bit of like, you know, fighting is good. We need, we need that. We want that. But what we don't want is to this be like a really long, arduous process to the bottom because it's not a tempo. We're just going to pause when we get there. I feel like my yoga background makes me move really slow. So I'm going to go a little quicker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when Lily's going to pause at the bottom, this is not going to be a rest. She's not just going to like drop her hamstrings to her calves and sit there. You're going to actively fight to hold that position. If you've lost any part of your positioning on the way down, this is your time to fight to get it back. Get any positioning you've lost back before you come up, okay? And if you haven't lost that position, good, fight. Don't lose it. Stay there. Stay good. Stay solid. Show everyone what a pro you are. <laughs> okay, so breathing and bracing. Center of the feet. When you feel comfortable, you may go. So notice when Lily gets to the bottom, this is staying still. This is staying still. She's not looking around. She's not seeing what's going on. She's not extending. Ouch. Okay, she's not just dropping down more and then just Ugh. resting passively. She's staying at the bottom of her range, holding, staying nice and tight, 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 tight. And then as she comes up, she's going to think about pushing her feet into the floor. Okay, one thing that we do see a lot is because people are so anxious to get out of there because you spent so much time, is that can you go down and extend through your low back to come up? Really launch up with arching your back. Your back. is they have <sighs> that movement. Lily's first movement was her spine extending, okay? So what we really want is just go to the bottom here and hold. I want Lily to think like the bottom of her foot is like a screwdriver, and she's going to drill a screw into the ground right there. Push in the ground right where my fingers are. Push, push, push through my fingers, push through my fingers, push through my fingers. And guess what? If you push through your fingers, your ankle, knee and hip will straighten out and you will go back to normal and you won't arch your back 
like a monkey or a maniac, okay? Focus <laughs> on the principles, focus on your positioning, and don't focus on just haphazardly going from point A to point B, because that will have a haphazard outcome over the end. Absolutely, and as you could see there, even when John told me to go, if I didn't have my breath, did I go? No, because I'm not gonna be able to keep good spinal positioning there. So it's really important, you are the master of yourself. Are you breathing well? Where is the weight on your feet? Stay connected to your body as you do this and you're gonna feel amazing results. Yeah, and if you're really going for longevity, and improved health span and improved career in your recreational sports and activities, it is really about making sure that your body is right before you go, okay? Get yourself right, follow the principles, and you'll be fine. And if you need help, reach out to us. Enjoy.